guys, it's Room the Math Person. So I'll be going over question 300 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming that you already tried it yourself, let's just dive right in. Batteries A and B have lifetimes for independent and exponentially distributed for the common mean of M years. So that just means the probability on um, PDF of A. Yeah, I, I, I just already like that. It is equal to 1 over M e to the negative um a over m and then for b it's also going to be the same thing the um what is the probability oh the probability that the b will outlast battery a by more than one year is equal to 0.33 okay calculate m all right all right um so you know in order to solve this problem we first need the uh joint distribution, joint probability distribution, but because we know that they're independent, that means the probability um, distribution function A, B is just equal to probability of A times probability of B. So that would mean our probability A, B function would be equal to 1 over M squared e to the negative A over M times e to the negative B over M. Oops, sorry about that, so this one right here should be a B. Okay, this distribution, exponential distribution, exists in 0 to infinity. Okay, so knowing that, all we have to do is set up our double integral, and we're good to go. So, um, let's see which one I want to do it first. So, we're integrating this A and B. Um, let's integrate in respect to B first, and that would mean the B limit of would be a plus one so it's going to be um, a plus one b is greater than a plus one so it's b lies between a plus one and infinity and this is just zero to infinity for da the limit okay okay let's just integrate this so the first part the second integral, integral stays the same this part is just a constant because we're in respecting respect to b so the only thing that um gets changed is this one right here what's the integral of e to the negative b over m okay well imagine this b being like x so it's the same thing as saying negative x over m so anti-integral of this would just be negative m d a so then, as you notice, one of the m's cancel out, so you're left with just the one m in the denominator. Okay, so step two. Let me actually just rewrite this. It's a little bit clear. Oh, wait a minute. I have to integrate this in. Res um, I have to integrate this from a plus one to infinity. Right. Okay, so the constant just stays the same. So I'll just take that out, and if it's e to the negative b over m, I, I plug in this for b. So e to the negative infinity is just 0, so that's 0 minus e to the negative a plus 1 over m. Okay. Any way we can simplify this? Yeah, for sure. So two negatives make a positive. And... So that's equal to, oh, this is 1. Okay, so I just have to take the integral of this, or I, I think I'm going to try to cancel it, um, simplify it first. So this, this is equal to 1 over m e to the negative. There's two a's, two a's. Here. Okay, I think I'm going to try to uh, simplify this first. So 1 over m stays the same. This is e to the negative a over m minus a plus 1 over m, right? So this is the same thing as saying 1 over m e to the negative 2a minus 1 over m. Or, also equivalent to saying, I'm going to put the thingy back in, 1 over m e to the negative 2a plus 1, factoring out that um, negative sign over m integrating respect to a 
Alrighty, alrighty. We got this, we got this. So then, this becomes... 1 over m is just a constant. The first part is negative 2a plus 1 over m times m over negative 2. Since 1 over m is just a constant, so we just have to worry about this part. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Integrating from 0 to infinity. Okay, so let me simplify this. The m's cancel out, so it becomes negative 2 e to the negative 2a plus 1 over m. 1 over. <laughs> Integrating from 0 to infinity, which is equal to negative 1 half e to the negative. Okay, so anything to the negative infinity is just 0, so the first part is just 0. Minus, 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 minus makes positive e to the negative. Um, plugging in 0 for a just because just gives you 1 over m and we know that this is equal to Equal to point three three. <laughs> we almost got lost what we were doing go to put three three. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply this side By 2 so that's point three three times 2 take the natural log of both sides So it's it becomes negative 1 over m equals natural log of, let me multiply this out, 0.33 times 2, 0.66, <laughs> and then I can bring this to the other side and bring this over, so it becomes negative 1 over natural log of 0.66 equals m. And let me plug this into the calculator real quick. Okay, so then m is equal to... 2.41 which is our answer E if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise make sure you like subscribe and share bye